Dear friends, in this video, we are going to talk about how to make best selection of questions in mains exam. Selection depends upon preparation and performance. How you have prepared in last one year, that is one part. But the important is in three hours of your exam, how you perform that will depend upon selection of questions. So making use of best combination of questions, these will be best to score and maximum output. That is the way we have to find means of civil services and means of engineering services is almost similar, especially when we talk about the technical subjects. In engineering subjects, there are eight questions given which are divided in two sections, section A and section B. Both sections carry four questions. So, agar hama dekhte hai, so we can say ki you have to attempt how many? You will be required to attempt five questions out of out of eight. Ab ye five out of eight which you have to attempt, these will be from the two sections. So, if we divide these two sections, mein divide kar dein, to what are those two? So, we can take section A and section B. Section A, section B. How many questions are in section A, section B? So there will be four questions in each section, right? Now these four questions are which ones that you can write here. Man, lije ki this is question number one, question number two, question number three, question number four. These are four in this section A. Question number five, question number six, question number seven, question number eight are in second section B, right? If the instructions are same like last year pattern doesn't change then first and fifth question will be compulsory so when first and fifth question is compulsory you can think of ki these two questions are compulsory right question number one and question number five so these are compulsory Ab ye compulsory question you don't need to waste time here because these are compulsory to be attempted so you know now remaining three questions to be selected out of the six you need to select three but question instruction says question paper instruction says there should be at least one question from each section so aapko jo next three select karna hai unme se ek ek section a or b se hona chahiye this is the main task yahan par aap aap teen mein se ek choose kariye pehle so question number two, three and four may say you choose at least one question and that one question which you choose it will be let us say we have decided question number three. So this is my selection question number three and then you come here that I want to choose one best out of the sixth, seventh and eighth which most scoring because in all questions there will be sub sections. Honge. A, B, C, D, yeah, maybe only A, B, C. So when you want to attempt in total, all the sections may say, whichever is the best combination for you, you need to select. So let us consider the eighth question is best in section B. So you have decided question three and question eight from these two sections. Now, four questions are done. This is Last question is remaining. Now, last question can select kare? So, last question you have option 2, 4, 6, and 7. Choose one out of these. So, decide anyone, you are free. And let us say I decide for question number 7. Now, the selection of the last question will depend upon ki if you have good answer writing, you prefer theory writing. You are good in English expression, your speed is good, your handwriting is good. Such students may prefer theory questions. But if you believe more on numerical calculation, your accuracy level is good, you may go for the numerical problem. But if you are equally confident and you get option, this is theory based, question number four. This is numerical based, question number seven. And you are confident in both. Then I will prefer a numerical based question will be better as compared to theory that is in general numerical questions are more scoring so 
this is the first task which is important so before you start answer writing you have to decide which questions you want to attempt and you have decided so question number one and five are compulsory then you have selected three and seven and eight these are the questions which you have selected now now the turn comes to answer so you are given question paper and you are given question come answer booklet series q cab so question come answer booklet series also has printed question at the top and a fixed space to answer that question so when we see q cab ka kya pattern hai when we can see here so there will be a question printed let us say question number 1 a this is and this is the language of question number 1 a and this is the space occupied by the question number 1a and to answer this question there is a fixed space given so you have the fixed space given here now the space is fixed you need to imagine or visualize your answer which is called mind mapping mind mapping is a very simple task which helps you to perform error free so you visualize or imagine ki to this question what is your answer whether you are going to make diagram whether you need a table where you whether you need calculation and how much will be required to write approximately how much space will be necessary and what is the space given if you find the space given is sufficient fine everything you can involve uh, incorporate but in case you find a space is not sufficient then you can change your font you can increase or decrease your font size accordingly and moreover if the space is insufficient for example if you take the question of this strength of material or a structure analysis truss the diagram of truss is big and if you are solving by method of joint you will be required to make again the diagram of each joint and this space is not sufficient then what to be done so what i will suggest you if this space is not sufficient the truss is already given in the question and that truss diagram can be used you can show your directions or force value in this diagram and you can make the calculation and you can express your answer in the space given but if it is possible to redraw diagram and you find time and space both are sufficient it is better to redraw the diagram and you can show the subsections accordingly so this way you can proceed if you make any error any mistake then you may be required to cut and re answer and there may not be sufficient space to the answer therefore it is important for you to understand the answer before you answer and then you answer properly so mind mapping will help you in doing this second thing is that when i told the selection of questions usually what happens a student start answering from the question number 1 and then they come to the question number 3 then they come to question number 5 then 7 then 8 so usually students follow sequence but sequence is not compulsory why q cab question ka answer booklet series even in question number 1 if i say in question number 1 there are three sections let us say and in these three sections a b and c if you know a you know c but you are not confident in b then b section you can leave and at the end if the time permits and you want to attempt you can come back similarly it is not necessary to begin the question number 1 first you can start from any question which is most easy man lijiye ki question number 8 is most scoring aur aapko lagta hai ki ye sabse aasan hai aur sabse scoring hai to sabse pehle aap question number 8 ko start kariye and question number 8 ke jitne bhi a b c portions hain you finish them complete them fir aapko lagta hai question number 5 is the second most scoring fir aap question number 5 ko answer kariye then you come back to question number 3 which is the third highest scoring la aapko lagta hai ki question 1 is the fourth highest scoring aur question 7 you want to attempt at the end kyunki aapka ye last question hai to aap isko last mein attempt kariye to sequence of attempting must be on the basis of the easiness scoring criteria 
एंड कॉन्फिडेंसनेस ऑफ योर सेल्फ तो जहां पर आप जितने कॉन्फिडेंस हो उसी सीक्वेंस में जाइए दूसरा यह है कि अननेसेसरी एक्स्ट्रा डायग्राम अननेसेसरी एक्स्ट्रा लैंग्वेज इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड अगर आपका क्वेश्चन 20 मार्क्स का है तो उसके हिसाब से लैंग्वेज दीजिए बट इफ द क्वेश्चन कैरी ओनली 10 मार्क्स तो उसके हिसाब से लैंग्वेज दीजिए डू नॉट वरी अबाउट हाउ मच स्पेस इज गिवन कभी कभी क्या होता है वी हैव सीन इन द लास्ट ईयर ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जाम्स उसमें देखा है कि 10 नंबर के क्वेश्चन में ज्यादा स्पेस दिया है और ट्वेंटी मार्क्स के क्वेश्चन में कम स्पेस दे रखा है सो इट डजेंट मीन्स यू हैव टू आंसर अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्पेस गिविन What is important? You have to answer according to the requirement. So this is very important to understand the weightage of the question. और जो चीज पूछी गई है वही लिखिए Do not write the surrounding and the peripheral information. Important is the key point, key parameter, concepts, calculation, and all these steps are needed which are involved. तो ये आपको approach adopt करनी है Error free performance should be the main criteria. आप एक सब सेक्शन ना कर पाए वो बेटर है लेकिन दो आप गलत कर दें वो अलाउड नहीं है सो इट इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड टू बी इन हरी आप ना बहुत अच्छे तरीके से कैलकुलेशन बिल्कुल अच्छे से करिए यू आर परमिटेड टू यूज द कैलकुलेटर मेक यूज ऑफ द कैलकुलेटर डोंट मेक एनी मिस्टेक एंड गो लाइक दिस तो परफॉर्मेंस विल डेफिनेटली डिपेंड ऑन द एप्रोप्रिएट अप्रोच राइट अप्रोच एरर फ्री परफॉर्मेंस गुड सिलेक्शन ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड मेकिंग बेस्ट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ टाइम इनिशियली टू टू फोर मिनट्स फाइव मिनट्स और मे बी अप टू टेन मिनट्स आउट ऑफ थ्री आवर्स यू कैन गिव टाइम टू रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड सेलेक्ट आप यहां पर टाइम बिल्कुल मत दीजिए ये तो कंपल्सरी है आप इनमें से देखिए कि इनमें से कौन कौन से क्वेश्चन आपको अटेम्प्ट करना है एंड चूज दैट सो इन लास्ट मोमेंट आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर माई आइडियाज आफ्टर अपियरिंग इन योर एग्जाम इवेल्युएट योर सेल्फ टॉक टू योर फ्रेंड्स यू विल कम टू नो कि what is your performance and what is the performance of the other students in social media a lot of discussions are happening nowadays then take a call what to be done after the exam so what is your next step unless and until you have the call letter in your hand you should not stop even your performance is good continue your preparation for the next attempt as well as simultaneously for the interview may may dg will conduct engineering services interview program After the result is declared, मेन्स रिजल्ट के तुरंत बाद होगा एंड ऑल ऑफ यू आर रिकमेंडेड देन यू कैन टेक अवर सर्विसेस फॉर द इंटरव्यू गाइडेंस इंक्लूडिंग द मॉक इंटरव्यूज एज वेल एज फॉर द क्लासेस टेक्निकल एंड नॉन टेक क्लासेस विल बी कंडक्टेड दोज ऑफ यू हु आर वेरी गुड इन योर सब्जेक्ट यू हैव एक्सीलेंट कमांड इन योर सब्जेक्ट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द मेड इजी और नेक्स्ट आई एस for the full time or the or the part time work in any area where you feel you are confident and you are knowledgeable and you have the extraordinary command in the subject you are most welcome you can apply with us and if you want any support you can give the suggestion aap video mein apne comments dijiye comment box mein aur aapke in comment ko dhyan mein rakh ke aage wali videos mein hum apne experiences share karenge thank you very much stay safe stay home best wishes for your exam jai hind